Welcome to Module 3, Guidance on Developing a National Deployment and Vaccination Plan, NDVP, for COVID-19 vaccines. My name is Louise Enaf, and I will guide you through the slides. Module 3, Planning and Coordination. Introducing and deploying COVID-19 vaccines will require key national decisions to be made both prior and during vaccine deployment. So ensuring a robust, accountable and transparent decision-making structure and process at country level is essential not only to protect national interests, but also to assure the public that deployment of the COVID-19 vaccine in the country is based on epidemiological need, assessed through rigorous scientific review, and respects population safety. By the end of this module, you should be able to explain how countries can use coordination mechanisms to manage the deployment and vaccination operations for COVID-19 vaccine introduction. Establish or adapt a COVID-19 vaccine deployment and vaccination coordination mechanism. WHO recommends that countries aim to use existing coordination mechanisms as much as possible and integrate them into the country's COVID-19 response structures. The National Coordinating Committee, NCC, is responsible for incorporating latest COVID-19 vaccines information into the planning and preparation. It should seek and use the National Immunization Technical Advisory Group NITAG recommendations, estimate costs, establish operation processes, provide status reports, communicate with partners and the media, coordinate the implementation of health services readiness and capacity assessments, and finally, it should monitor progress. On the other hand, the Interagency Coordinating Committee, ICC, is responsible for coordinating partner financing activities, preparing or reviewing vaccine introduction support proposals, and support the rollout and evaluation of the vaccine introduction. The NITAG. Ideally, countries should already have a well-established and fully functional NITAG. But if the country does not have one, it should consider establishing a working group that would provide independent evidence-based advice to the policymakers, similar to the NITAG, who is in charge of reviewing WHO SAGE, Regional Immunization Technical Advisory Group recommendations and over NITAG's recommendation. Then the NITAG reviews the country relevant epidemiological data of COVID 19 and advises the Ministry of Health on priority target groups and vaccination strategies. It is also issuing vaccine specific recommendations based on COVID 19 vaccines characteristics and changes in non-pharmacological interventions, diagnosis and treatment of COVID-19 disease. Finally, the NITAG should review behavioral and social data to help advise the Ministry of Health and the National Immunization Program Manager on the best communication approaches for COVID-19 vaccine introduction. Establish a chain of reporting and management structure. Effective deployment of vaccines will depend on the management of the planned activities and processes and the ability of the managers to make rapid decisions at all levels. This graphic is a representation of how this could look at country level and may be adapted as deemed appropriate. Establish a reporting and management structure. Structures and processes should include individuals or designated offices, include incident manager, focal point for logistics, and a focal point for vaccination, who should all be embedded in the national coordination mechanism. The next slides show the responsibilities of each of these focal points. The incident manager. The incident manager is responsible for managing the country's pandemic response. He coordinates with the incident management team and national emergencies collaboration mechanism. He delegates deployment and vaccination to the focal point for logistics 
and the focal point for vaccinations. He supervises and establishes a command and control structure. He prepares the final report and outcome on deployment and vaccination activities with the two other focal points. Focal point for logistics. The focal point for logistics is responsible for forecasting vaccine reception, storage, transport, distribution, and waste management. He proposes execution schedule of vaccine shipments. He also establishes processes for vaccine logistics data, collection, analysis, visualization, and communication using appropriate management information systems. He manages human resources and budgets for logistic operations. Finally, he establishes monitoring and evaluation process for vaccine deployment activities. The focal point for vaccination responsibilities. The focal point for vaccination ensures communication and public information. He establishes processes for data collection and information using a management information system. He manages human resources and budgets for vaccination operations ensuring adequate numbers, including search capacity, training supervision. Finally, he establishes monitoring and evaluation process for vaccination activities and vaccine safety surveillance. Establish technical subcommittees. Each of these focal points or designated offices may appoint a technical working group for the six areas of work. 1. Service delivery, 2. Vaccine management, cold chain, logistics and waste management, 3. Training and supervision, 4. Vaccine acceptance and uptake, 5. Safety monitoring and injunction safety, 6. Monitoring and evaluation. The key messages. The countries should use or adapt existing managerial and governance framework. They should establish a National Coordinating Committee, NCC, with multi-sectorial representation. The NITAC should be equipped to provide evidence-based recommendations and policy guidance and review the recommendations as new evidence emerge. Finally, countries should establish reporting and management structure to ensure deployment and implementation and monitoring. Countries should 1. Establish, adapt COVID-19 vaccine deployment and vaccination coordination mechanism. 2. Activate the NITAG. 3. Establish chain of reporting and management structure. Thank you for listening in.